punk fans, girls and boys alike. To me at the moment, every day feels like Christmas day. It seems like getting stuff through the post virtually every day. Um, this is an exception rather than the rule. Today, I got landed some more lovely stuff. Um, I'm gonna show you this first. It is the Stranglers Black and White album, released in America uh, on gray marble, black and white marble if you like. Um, I've already got this, but I order this under the presumption that it's a promo copy and it isn't the seller sent me the wrong damn thing. But I'm still gonna keep it because it has a rather nice, pro well it's not a promo, it's, a, it's a, just a nice limited edition sticker on the front, a bit of a nice bump, as I like to call it. Now if you haven't seen one of these before, I mean my copy at home hasn't got the sticker, but I'm keeping this now. If anyone hasn't seen this before, let me just pull it out. It's a nice item. Black and white marble. Black side. White side. Now, if you own the American release of this album anyway, and you've got the black copy, and you're saying to myself, to yourself, I really like to have the grey marble copy, but I've only got the black copy. Count yourself lucky because the black versions of this album are rarer than the marbled ones. Luckily I've got one of those as well, but um, if you didn't know that fact, then um, yeah, black ones are rarer than the grey marbled ones. Um, so basically you have black and white, in America, released on black vinyl. Don't know whether there's a promo copy of the black vinyl, I've never seen one. You've got the black and white, released as a grey marble, a black and white marble. And there's also the one that I really wanted, which is the promo version. And the promo version has promotional copy not for sale on both black and white labels at the bottom. So uh, yeah, those are the versions you're really hunting for. Well, that's nice, isn't it? I mean, he would kick that out of their collection. Certainly not me. The other lovely thing that came today is my friend from Italy, Stefano Galladino's Strangler's Book. Lovely thick paperback. Uh, only thing is, for me personally, it's all in Italian, so I can't read anything, but it has got fantastic pictures in it. So I still will be pouring over this. And Stefano, thank you, noisy car. Stefano was kind enough to annotate it for me at the front. Thanks, Stefano. And uh, Stefano was even more uh, of a wonderful human being by crediting me in the back. There we go. In the in the thank you page at the back. So thanks once again Stefano. I'm going to treasure this. Beautiful book. Very well put together. Hundreds of pictures. Quite a few I haven't seen before. And uh, the personal touch is lovely. Thank you so much. I've got a feeling this might be a, or this first edition might be a numbered copy, because it does say 54 there. So Stefano, tell me, am I am I right? Are these just individually numbered copies, or what does that 54 stand for? Look at that, great picture, JJ. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to to pouring over this at home. Back cover's excellent as well, I and mean, look at that, great colour combination. Thank you, Stefano. Moving on, um, this arrived this morning. Never seen one before, nice to have. It's from the Mark II lineup. 1995, I believe, isn't it? Yeah, 1995 tour. Very glossy. As you can see, it shows up the marks really well. I might try and get those out later. 
uh, originally released through the Strangs Information Service and naturally sold on the tour. Pictures inside are lovely and it's great text. Quite a few pictures. How much did this sell on the tour, I wonder? How much did it sell for? Let me just, uh, you know, you have a nice discography up to that point in time. Very thick booklet. I've been a fan of the Stranglers right the way through, through every incarnation. And I'm uh, pleased to say that when In the Night and About Time came out, I bought them on day of release. And apparently they're worth a pretty penny now as well, on vinyl. Very nice. Look at that. I like the Mark II lineup. And what else could the Stranglers do at the time when Hugh left? You know, what were they going to do? Fold up? No, they all had livings to make and they uh, still hadn't finished saying what they wanted to say, so I'm glad they carried on. I'm very, very sure that Hugh didn't think they would carry on for an instant. Very sure about that. What a superb pick of JJ and Dave there. So, yep, yeah, really pleased to add that to the collection. And the last thing that came at the same time from the same seller is this. The Men in Black Tour Program. Picture on the back is superb. The Stranglers' latest single nuclear device. Got them both for a decent price. You do see this come up occasionally. Uh, to be to be fair, for a lot more than I paid for it. A lot more. Never really used to be into collecting paper goods of the Stranglers. So thank you, Neil Horgan, for scratching my itch on that and <laughs> make me want to explore the world of Strangler's paper releases. reading material for this weekend. Very nice, very nice indeed. Men in Black Tour, Strangler's official program. And there we have it, my little chickadees. Uh, thanks for watching. Please click like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And check out www.barockbordello.com, now becoming one of the largest curated sites of the Stranglers on the internet. Until the next time, I'll see you. Now, that didn't come out quite right, did it? Until the next time. <laughs>